And now moving on to the Ebola outbreak, concerns of the virus spreading to other parts of the world are growing. Health experts around the world are putting their heads together to get the Ebola outbreak in West Africa under control. Kim Inji reports. The World Health Organization will convene a two-day meeting of its emergency committee starting Wednesday. A spokesman for the UN Health Agency said the main focus for the experts taking part will be the Ebola outbreak in West Africa and whether it constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. If they determine it does, the committee will recommend that the Director General of the WHO declare it as such and that temporary measures are put in place to keep the virus from spreading internationally. The agency is scheduled to hold a press conference on Friday Geneva time on the outcome of the meeting. More than 1,600 have been infected in the current outbreak, and the death toll stands at 887. In the meantime, Spain is repatriating an elderly Ebola-infected Spanish priest who had been working in Liberia. An Air Force plane will pick up Miguel Pajares and bring him back to Spain for treatment. Pajares, who has worked in Liberia for over 50 years, has been in quarantine at a hospital in the capital. Meanwhile, a second American victim arrived on U.S. soil on Tuesday. Nancy Ripple was flown in from Africa overnight and will be treated in the same isolation unit as Dr. Kemp Brantley, who also contracted the virus in Liberia. Both Ripple and Brantley are reportedly recovering after taking experimental drugs. That is some of the world's leading Ebola specialists calling on the World Health Organization to make the experimental drugs available to victims in West Africa. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.